Hi there, uh, I got this uh, Voron Holofix chip in the Voron 2.4 kit and I was excited about it so I was going to show here how I installed it and calibrated it. I was initially expecting the micro switches as it was sitting in the form parts below material so I printed its part out. Uh, then I saw the Holofix chip and I was, uh, as I was unboxing it, I got a little surprised. Uh, about expecting a more complexity uh, as I was uh, putting the thing together because you know all the bars in the kit and the 3D bars look like uh, it was super complex and getting out of hand and I thought it looked like building a transformer for a second but it actually turned out pretty straightforward uh, ended up needing to print another part uh, like this one and it had the you know opening over here and the two holes for the two bolts to go in and uh, it's pretty much the same as the micro switch part uh, when it comes to installing uh, that takes the two M330s uh, and well let me just sh uh, show you how to put it together and you just need to take the chip and where this uh, opening you have this where the cable connects goes inwards and uh, just put the bolts in together for uh, then uh, screw in the, uh, to the right side of the gantry uh, uh, with the two M330s and it goes the same place as it does for the uh, micro switches if you had the micro switches. And that should be pretty easy to install. After that, the not too tight since the bolt, M3 bolts go into the plastic and but tight enough so it doesn't shake around uh, over here. Then uh, foam bars send these uh, pre-made wires, which I appreciate, and they have labeled on them X, Y, stop. Uh, that it, uh, otherwise they may end up looking like whatever's going on here. Following the BTT uh, Octopus uh, documentation, uh, they plug in here. Uh, the X going top, uh, Y in the middle, then Z up top. Now, uh, after powering it on, uh, I'm going to calibrate it. Uh, I'm going to diverge slightly from the documentation because I found it easier to take the magnet and tape it to one side and uh, stick it to the part uh, where it's supposed to go in on the Z upridler. Then I'm going to push the gantry back uh, until the light comes on uh, or as far as it goes. Uh, it doesn't seem to be coming on. Uh, so let me flip the magnet. Once I got the magnet down, uh, nice and tight with the, uh, on the upper Z idler, I'm going to push the gantry back and try to tune the pentometer until the light comes, LED comes on. Okay, that should be good enough. Same process under the tool head, and it, the magnet goes in this hole. Push the tool head close to the end stop, uh, then calibrate. That should be good. After that, then it should just home perfectly fine. There you go. Appreciate the nice surprise from Farm Board. And as always, Warren Team has an amazing job. Now time to print all the Warren 2.4 parts in ABS because all of this was printed in PLA. <laughs>